This is a fan-generated show. If you would like to support us, please go to jamieglazov.com and also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All your support is greatly appreciated. Good evening. Welcome to the Jamie Glazoff moment. Tonight, the Obama movie that can never be. Ladies and gentlemen, Barack Obama just keeps coming back. He won't go away, kind of like Hillary. They just keep coming back in, in, in the creepiest ways. But that's just, that, that, that's another show or another 500 shows about millions of ways that Obama and uh, Hillary are creepy and, uh, and a danger to this country and to freedom everywhere. I just wanted to narrow in on one little thing I've been thinking about lately in terms of Obama and all the strange questions that have never been answered and, and are not allowed to be asked. And so I've been thinking about the leftist boundaries of discourse as they've been established and the, the questions that are just considered inappropriate now that are just so normal to ask. You know, and I was thinking even recently on our show with um, about John Brennan and I had the ex-intelligence agents on and we were discussing and they were revealing the information they know about how John Brennan converted to Islam, which, you know, is kind of important, kind of serious. You know, if a person becomes a CIA chief and uh, it's a secret that he's a Muslim and then there's the possibility that he b could be a devout Muslim because devout Muslims believe in Sharia law and in things like jihad. You know, they might be taking surahs 9.5 and 929 seriously, which might pose a little problem in general. I mean, we see what's happening in Europe. Jihad, uh, knife jihad now. You know, it's happening in Canada. It's come to, to our uh, culture and society and country, as we know. So these are pretty serious things. And yet, it's incredible what we don't know and we're not allowed to know. And so I was just thinking, we have a president that we can't even make a movie about. Like, you can't write a biography of this guy. And don't you think that's a little strange? And, and when I bring this up, it's incredible the, the, the stuff that people say back. And, of, and by the way, what I'm saying is, of course there could be a movie, but there would just be things that just would be left out. You know, like in a normal biography or a movie about somebody, you know, well, you know, the guy liked hamburgers, he liked baseball, he enjoyed history, and he was a Catholic and later converted to Buddhism or, you know, you know, there's kind of stuff about the intellectual journey of a person, but then there's maybe something about a person's religious journey, a person's journey in terms of their faith. And no. With Obama, that's just, you can't even ask that. That's just this, just this empty screen, just static and you can't ask any questions. But I was thinking about it, like an Obama movie, but you cannot have any and anything about this guy in terms of his religious journey. You just can't. And you're a very bad person for asking. And uh, I just, I don't know where to go with this. Like, I'll just say, like, in terms of my dad, for instance, you know, my, my parents were dissidents in the Soviet Union. They got out of the Soviet Union, thank God, when I was a little kid. Um, but my dad had a fascinating life, very profound life. And uh, my dad was raised in an atheist country where there was official atheism and believing in God was illegal. But my father came to Jesus Christ and became a Christian and he had us baptized by my godfather, Father Min, and God bless his soul, he was murdered by the KGB. But you know, that was my God, that was and that is my Godfather. And uh, my father paid a very heavy price for being a Christian in the Soviet Union because our neighbors and people were ratting us out. Uh, the KGB was interrogating my father and persecuting my father for many reasons because he was a dissident, but including his belief in Jesus Christ. And I'm eternally grateful to my father for introducing me to Jesus. And uh, in, are we allowed to talk about stuff like this? Like, yeah, but you know, I would think that this is kind of an important thing, you know, in my life, in my father's life. 
And it's okay. If you want to ask me some questions about it, I'll answer them. With Obama, you know, it's interesting. On my Facebook or Twitter, social media, sometimes I'll put, when was Obama's conversion moment? When did he convert from Islam? I'm just curious. I, I'm actually just interested. When was his conversion moment? And somebody will write back very angry. I don't think it's important whether a person was Muslim or not or if what a person's religion is. That doesn't matter. And it's sort of like, well, I didn't ask you what you think is important and the issue is not whether you think it's important or not. The issue is just we're just actually trying to establish a fact. Because maybe I'm writing a biography. Maybe somebody would like to write a biography one day. I don't know. Just, it's just incredible that you can't ask this. But just f for the sake of facts that we still don't know in our culture and our media, like a lot of you watching what I'm about to tell you, a lot of you don't know, and I don't mean it as a personal reprimand, but it's just very interesting what we know and we don't know in our country about our own president. The scholar Daniel Pipes has documented Obama's Muslim childhood, period. Dr. Pipes has done magnificent, meticulous scholarly work on this. He has documented. Just do a Google search, Obama's Muslim childhood, Daniel Pipes. It's documented. Obama was Muslim in his youth. Okay? And a lot of people watching right now are like, oh, Jamie's being so racist. Who's this guy being so judgmental, being so racist? I didn't even say anything was wrong with it. I'm simply stating a fact. It's documented. Obama was Muslim in his childhood. When we meet Obama as president during the campaign, uh, for president, then he becomes president. There's all this stuff about how he's Christian, and there's this Jeremiah Wright character. Then there's these very vague references to Obama becoming baptized or converted or something. It's all very cloudy, but something happened with Jeremiah Wright where he kind of entered this Christian phase. And I'm putting it quote unquote because. I'm a little, as a Christian, I'm not even necessarily being judgmental. I'm just a little bit confused by Obama's quote-unquote Christianity. Sorry, just all the statements that he made, all the statements that he didn't make, just something a little bit strange there. And I'm wondering, is it okay to ask? So my point here is, it's been documented that Obama was Muslim in his youth. Then he's some kind of Christian. Am I allowed, let's say I'm writing a biography. Let's say script writers are writing a movie on this guy's life. Can we have this narrative? Are we allowed to put something about Obama's spiritual journey? No, we're not. It, it's not allowed and we're not allowed to know. But, you know, it might be important, you know, it might be important that a a president converted from Islam because then he would be considered an apostate. Or did Obama ever convert from Islam? Am I allowed to ask these questions? We do not have an ex-president, by the way, who's the worst ex-president. He even beats Jimmy Carter by far. Uh, and that's saying something. But we have an ex-president that we cannot make a movie about. And if we do make a movie, we just don't, and I've only mentioned one thing that we're not allowed to know. As you know, there's all kinds of sealed secrets. We're not allowed to know so many things, including why he was in Pakistan in 1981. Do not ask that. Don't ask what he was doing in Pakistan in 1981. Uh, but we, we, we just, we're not allowed to make this movie. We can't know this about our ex-president. Why this is a taboo subject, ladies and gentlemen, is explained by my new book, Jihadist Psychopath. And I explain and show how the jihadist psychopath has established a plantation for us in the West. He's controlling our thoughts. He's controlling what we're allowed to say, what we're not allowed to say, how we're allowed to think, what, what we're not allowed to think. And so we're not allowed to make a movie about our ex-president. We're not allowed to know 
about his Muslim youth. We're not allowed to know about how he's a Christian. And we're not allowed to know anything in between about when the conversion happened. It's not important. Do not ask those questions. There's a lot of more very important things to be thinking about. And we should only be thinking about one thing. And that's Trump's collusion with Putin. I mean, CNN is just talking about that 24-7. And isn't that what really matters? We'll see you on the next Jamie Glasoff moment. Good night.